Hey people, it is Monday, March 15th, and it is 11.22 in the morning, and I am here at the Atrium on Bay, which is a small shopping mall downtown at Young and Dundas, and stretching up to Bay and Dundas, and it's just a small mall, I think built in the 1980s, connected to an office complex. As you can see, the atrium. And it's also connected to the Eaton Center through the PATH system and also to the subway system. So this is obviously just a, a small, quiet mall compared to the Eaton Center. But it has some popular stores. There's a Muji store. There's a liquor store. Some restaurants. Although the restaurants are closed right now. The main feature of this is it's such an awesome atrium. Even in non-pandemic times, this mall is on the quiet side. And it has the downtown's only Red Lobster. It's a two-level mall. And there's a small food court down here on the main level, or the below ground level, I should say. Of course, the food court is mostly closed down right now. There are a few places that are open doing takeout business, but you can't sit inside. As you can see, everything is all Ubiquitous Rexall. This is a nice little water feature. Looking up at the atrium again. And even though this mall is really small, there's more security guards walking around in here than I see in the Eaton Center. <laughs> There's a little map. Tim Hortons. Footlocker. This used to be a Jordan store. And the LCBO. And as I was saying, this is a small mall. It doesn't take very long at all to walk it. Now we're entering the PATH system. This connects the atrium on bay to Dundas subway station and to the Eaton Center.
We'll go down there in a minute. I'll just walk over here to get a look at the southbound trains. I was hoping there'd be a train here, but I'm sure there'll be one in a minute or so. But maybe I won't stand around. I feel like all these security guards are just itching to tell anyone to not do something they think they're not supposed to be doing. So now this is connected to 10 Dundas East, which is another sort of mini mall on the other side of Dundas Street. So we'll walk down here. This is how you get to the northbound trains at Dundas Station. And you can see an entrance into the Eaton Center. I just recently did a walkthrough of the Eaton Center and another part of the pass system, the main part of the pass system that runs under the financial district. This is the northernmost section of the path system right here. This is as far north as you can go. Here we are at the northbound side of Dundas Station. Still no train. Should we wait for a train? I'm not in any rush. Ah, I hear one coming. Run, 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 run. Can you make it? Can you make it? Can you make it? Oh, that guy didn't make it. Oh, no. There's usually trains coming every three or four minutes. It's not a long wait. All right, so now we'll head into 10 Dundas East, which is the other mini mall on this side. It's even smaller than the atrium. It just has more floors. Probably less square footage overall, crammed into more floors as the Dollarama. This is uh, where the big theater complex is in this part of downtown. So Cineplex, I think it has something like 20 screens. I'm not exactly sure how many. Quite a few though. There's Dundas Street. And we'll just go up. I'm trying to make sure I don't make it too obvious I'm recording. So these 
board security guys don't like hassle me. So as I said, they're just looking for any reason to say anything to anyone. There's more security people in here than there are customers. There's winners. This leads up to the cinema complex. And looking down, you can see all kinds of cool escalator action. Well, here's the food court for this mall. It's actually bigger than the one at the atrium on bay. That's kind of the same situation. A lot of these places aren't even open. There's really no point for them to be open. Can't sit anywhere. Not enough people coming up here. We'll just go up another level, looking down again. I think this is the coolest aspect of this mall. I was just looking at the escalators. The layout of the mall isn't that great. And this is the top level. You know, some popular chain restaurants. Milestones, Jack Astor's. The best thing about these places is not the food, it's the view once you or inside, there are patios looking down at Young and Dundas. Well, I guess I can't go through here. There's a cool shot of what Toronto used to look like a long, long time ago. I'd say that picture is from about probably the mid-1930s to 1940s. That's when Commerce Court West and the Royal York were the two tallest buildings in the city. Make our way back down. So far, I've managed to avoid catching the attention of any security people. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's no law against recording in a place that is considered a public place, even though it's private property. I don't know. I'm not exactly sure. I think technically they can say, no, you can't record here. A lot of people are confused about how to get back down once they're up here. They don't know there's another escalator kind of hiding over here. At least Harvey's is open. Harvey's has the best veggie burgers of the chain burger places. And it is a proudly Canadian as well. And here we are back at the winner's store again. There's no lineup, which is surprising. Heading back down to the main level. And we've just about successfully completed this tour. This is an interesting new place that will be opening soon, Little Canada. Hello. It will feature miniature models of Canadian landmarks such as buildings, roads, railways, sort of like Canada in miniature, including lots of downtown Toronto skyscrapers and the CN Tower. So I'm looking forward to that opening. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay, I'm just heading out. Okay. <laughs> See, I spoke too soon, eh? <laughs> There's no recording inside because who knows why? It makes no sense whatsoever, but there's no recording inside because I don't know why, just because. <laughs> it's like, okay. <laughs> well, that guy got his money's worth for today. At least he felt like he was getting paid to do his job, to tell somebody to do something completely innocu innocuous and harmless. But hey, it's my rant for the day. <laughs> I don't know what's the bane of my existence more as a uh, as a YouTube walktuber, music, potentially copyright claim worthy music, or bored security guards. <laughs> I think it's a tie. <laughs> so there's a look up at 10 Dundas East. That's where all the big fancy billboards and and video screens are. And there's Dundas Square. And that glass building across the way, that office building, that's the Atrium on Bay where we began our video. Looking up at that cool atrium, right up to the center of that office building there. Mm -hmm. So I hope you enjoyed this short little tour through the Atrium on Bay and through Dundas Subway Station and then through 10 Dundas East which I almost managed to complete without getting told not to by a board security guard. Oh well. So if you did enjoy this, by all means, subscribe to my channel. Like, share, comment, tell your friends and your family, and even your worst enemy. And be sure to hit, to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you'd like to support the channel, there's a link in the description where you can do so via PayPal. And you can also look me up on Instagram under K Continuum. So, thanks for watching, and be sure to keep checking back, because as always, I will continue. <laughs>